For this example, we have another complex looking number, negative 75.65625. And again, we're going to convert this to floating point format. As usual, our first step is to convert this from decimal to binary. Starting with the whole number part, I have negative number, got 64 plus 11. So there's my 64 and there's 11. Now I need my fraction. Looking at that, I know I have a 1 half in there, but it's probably not obvious what the other bits after that are. So I will use the multiplication method again to figure out exactly what those are. So, as expected, my first bit is a 1, and I will copy that up there. And I'll multiply the rest by 2 again. The next bit is a 0. Multiply the rest by 2. I'll take this one and write it up there. And if I multiply this by 2, I will get 0 0.5. So I'd bring up a 0, multiply the 0.5 by 2, I'll get 1, and I would bring up the 1. So there is my number in binary. I now need to convert this number into normalized scientific notation. So I'll want to move the binary point over one, two, three, four, five, six places again, which means that I will get So there's my normalized scientific number. Next, I just need to fill in the fields of my floating point format. I can start with my sign bit. I have a negative number, so my sign bit is 1. My exponent is 6. I will add my bias of 127 to get 133 again, which is still 128 plus 5. I'll copy this in for my exponent field. And last, I have my mantissa. Again, I will take everything after my binary point, copy it in on the left-hand side, and fill the right-hand side with zeros. So there's the binary version of my floating point number. If I convert this to hexadecimal, I will have C2 9 7 5 0 0 0. That would be the hexadecimal form of negative 75.65625 in floating point format.